This is Paula Rhodes with What's Trending, and today is Extreme Tuesday! <laughs> Those are fireworks. Today, we're talking about jetpacks. Oh yeah, I said it. Jetpacks! Not just any jetpacks, flying jetpacks! <laughs> ah! So, this video comes to you from the YouTube channel X Dubai featuring Jetman Eves Rossi and his protege, Jetman Vince Refay. Eves Rossi was a former airman in the Swiss Air Force as well as a aviation enthusiast. He is actually the inventor of the individual jetpack. I know, you were like, wait, I thought that was my cousin in our yard that time. No, no, it's Eves Rossi. Turns out, I know you might be shocked by this, Eves is a bit of an adrenaline junkie. Oh no, you're like, please, me too. No, he's got you beat. He was originally drawn to free falling, but he says that it wasn't really enough for him. So, you know, that led him to creating the personal jetpack. Really? I love free falling, but it's missing something. <laughs> More falling. You know what? Dream big, guys. It turns out his uh, protege, Vince, He's a, he's a notable skydiver himself. These guys are not amateurs. He's known for his record-breaking base jump off the world's tallest building in Dubai, Burj Khalifa. We'll just call him Jetman Vince, is uh, also part of France's national fly team. Wait, France has a free fly team? France has a free fly team, <laughs> turns out. And in 2004, he was even crowned the free fly world champion. I like that it says crowned because that makes me picture that he got on a pedestal and he was given roses and like a really pretty. Anyway, so guys, if you're like, hang on, hang on. I wanna know more about this jetpack. It was apparently created in 2004. Oh, that's right, been around 11 years. Just hearing about it, where you been? Originally, it was a rigid harness integrated into inflatable wing panels with two large model jet engines. In 2006, two additional engines were added, creating the version we see in this video. The jetpack has a wingspan of 6.5 feet. It's powered by four JetCat P200 engines, has an average speed of 124 miles per hour, weighs 121 pounds, and is capable of 44 pounds of thrust. How do they land? Is that a thing? It doesn't show, it doesn't, it doesn't show us how they land. This would actually kind of blow people's minds 20 years ago, like 1995 us are all sitting around like, what? And 2015 us are kind of like watching the video like this. Cool. <laughs> Artem Rosiskovsky says, what these people do is absolutely insane and insanely cool. Absolutely insanely cool. I had no idea jetpacks had reached such levels of, well, everything, hashtag want, hashtag, but would be too scared to use. So Harsh Pruthi says, how do you land this thing? Right? That's what I was asking. But again, I think I'm gonna put my money on old fashioned parachute. Steve Rodrigue follows it up with what many of us have already asked. Is this the future? <laughs> yes. All right guys, so here's some real questions for you. Is it the future? Would you buy one of these and strap it to yourself and fly around the city, you know, if and when you're allowed to? And um, should we have to get licenses? Be sure to let us know in the comments below and as always, like, share, and subscribe. And hey, if you need something to mellow you out, check out Morgan Freeman talking about how much he loves weed.